now coming to your favorite word for this entire quarterly series, endurance. Endurance. Third lesson Don't let that word scare you. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool it's with it. It's a good word. Um, even though I did 1500 um, in high school, and that takes endurance, and I will never do that again. I'm, I mean, I'm past high school, but I've only done that once. You ran, was it track? You did, okay. Yeah, and I learned that I probably, I'm not the best with endurance. I yeah. trained and everything, but the other guys <laughs> were better. Anyway. I tried, track, I tried track one year. And um, I was so bad at running because I had no endurance that they ended up putting me on the shot put. That's all I did. I threw a shot put. They just basically, coach was like, okay, you just stop running, man. You, you got to get off. Get off the field. Go throw so this ball. Do something else that don't need endurance. But as a disciple, we need endurance. So tell me uh, are the key thoughts that you had in your mind when you, you wrote this lesson on endurance. To get personal, um, when I gave my life to Christ, I was only two years into a 10-year prison sentence. Mm -hmm. And I knew I had to still do 10 years. Mm -hmm. And prison's a terrible environment. Mm -hmm. You know, you see things you don't want to see. You hear things you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. And as you're being transformed in an environment like that, the wickedness around you is enhanced. Mm -hmm. and things just never got better. It felt like they never got better. Mm -hmm. And I had to learn to endure. I had to trust the Word over my feelings often. And I imagine, and I've noticed that it's the same out here in, in the world. Mm -hmm. um, we live in a wicked, corrupt world. Mm -hmm. And things can get us down if we let them. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to lesson one and lesson two, co God's commitment, mm -hmm. His faithfulness, will help you endure. Mm -hmm. It helped me endure. Eight years after giving my life to Christ, I was surrounded by evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got up close and personal with the depravity of man oh. while I was there. And that just took endurance. To maintain my faith in an environment like that required endurance. And the only thing I had to lean on was the Word mm -hmm. and His commitment and His faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And so, one and two flow into three. Mm -hmm. And I believe that people, the disciples of Jesus, need to get this. And I think, I, I write about it in, in the quarterly, but he's trying to teach his disciples that too. Right. He's definitely trying to teach them. I think of the transfiguration, mm -hmm. when Peter wanted to, to build a tabernacle to Jesus, and there's a couple things happening there. Uh, he wanted to build a tabernacle to, to uh, Elijah, Elijah and, Moses. and then Moses and then Jesus. And the first thing Jesus is trying to say is that he is superior to Moses. Right. So Jesus, if you're going to build the tabernacle, only build one mm -hmm. to Jesus. Mm -hmm. But also, um, I like to, to think, and this is just my opinion, mm -hmm. uh, I could be wrong about this, but I, I like to believe that he was also saying, you can't be up here on the mountaintop experience with me all the time. I need you down there in the, the sinful world making a difference, being the, the light. You, you can dwell up here with me in a tabernacle and have me stay with you up here in this miraculous thing, but you're not of great use there. I need to send you down into that wicked place, that world, and you need to, to, to take my spirit with you and my word with you and make a difference. And I kind of had to do that in, in, in prison. And I know that people are going to have to do that um, as they are discipled and as the discipleship process continues throughout their life. Right, right. So, man, I like the verse you use a lot. I'm um, then Hebrews 11, uh, where you talk about uh, um, in the verse 22 that um, that when Moses forsook Egypt, he he went back and he was able to face like the Pharaoh because he had already seen the man invisible like the fact that you had an encounter with god mm -hmm. i mean it helped you like in yes. prison to be able to en endure all of that mm -hmm. um, you, ha you have to recall you have yeah. to recall god's goodness what he's done we have to be reminded of that mm -hmm. repetition is the mother of learning yeah. and we just it's 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 a discipline mm -hmm. it's part of being a disciple is to go back and saturate yourself mm -hmm. with his record, with your own experience. It's not right. just about the Word. The Word is the, the primary source of our faith. Right. Without the Word of God, we don't have a faith. Without the Word made flesh, more mm -hmm. than the written Word, Jesus, yeah. the Word made flesh, right. we don't have Christianity. Yeah. So that's, that's 
that's primary, that's the main thing. Yeah. But your testimony, your experiences, mm -hmm. you know as in your life and I know in my life right. that we have had victories and yeah. God has come up close and personal with us. We've yeah. seen the invisible. We've seen Him do miraculous yeah. things. I like that. Yeah. And we can't forget about that and it's mm -hmm. easy to forget. Look at Israel's record. They saw the miraculous. Mm -hmm. They saw God deliver them miraculously mm -hmm through the plagues out of Egypt right. and that same generation complained in the wilderness. Right. They needed to endure in the wilderness after they saw the miraculous right. and, and they doubted right. after they saw it. And, and, and that is a record, that's not a lesson of, of what to do, that's a lesson of what not to do. Right. A lot of the Old Testament is showing us <laughs> not what not to do, not right. what to do. Right. Don't do what right. they did, what Israel do. did. Right. Yeah. So yeah, you definitely... That's a, that's a good example. The hall of faith in, in Hebrews right. 11 is, is very encouraging. Um, so faith has an endurance component to it, right? Absolutely. The fact that, that, like you spend time with God on the mountain, as you were saying, but he, he didn't build a tabernacle there. Um, he was able to come down in, in essence mm -hmm. and, and use what he saw to help him to face all the things that he went through. Yes, absolutely. Um, we need to do the same. Yeah. We need to get to a place where we have those experiences too. Mm -hmm. God's still communicating today. God still wants us to, to have that burning bush experience, so mm -hmm. to speak, today. Mm -hmm. And if we don't put ourselves in position to have that experience, then it's going to be harder and harder to endure. I mean, then remember it. I like that point that you make about um, um, to use the discipline to keep on um, to go back to that experience, at least in our mind, right? right? We won't have that every day, but we experience it once, we remember it. Mm -hmm. And the faith issue that Israel had was that they weren't remembering in a sense, right. but Moses is here in the Hall of Faith because he, rem he endured. He, he endured remembered. as seeing him who was invisible. Right. He knew yeah. he, he had that experience and he didn't let himself forget. King David does that too. I believe it's Psalm 42 and Psalm 43, he does a little self-talk. He talks to himself when he's despondent, when he's sad. And he says, why are you cast down, O my soul? He's talking to himself. Why are you disquiet, disquieted within me? Hope in God. And then he turns around and starts praising him, for I shall yet praise him. And we need to do a little bit of that too. Exactly, exactly.